2,060 yards. That's the number of receiving yards that Trevor Inslee had in his senior year at Nevada, and is also the most receiving yards in one season in FBS history. So what happened to this amazing receiver, and why wasn't he very productive in the NFL? That's what we're going to find out today. After trying to find out as much as I could about this guy, I figured out that there isn't much about him besides his football records, since that is what he is most known for. I did find out, however, that he attended San Clemente High School in Orange County, California, and was named All-County there and was also his team's MVP. His team even beat high school football powerhouse Modern Day, which is no small feat. The size of his school when he was there was a little over 2,000 people, so he wasn't playing in some 1A school in the middle of nowhere. He excelled at the highest level of high school football. After his high school career, Trevor decided to attend the University of Nevada in 1996, and as a freshman had 36 receptions for 574 yards and 5 touchdowns, which is really good for your freshman season. But that was nothing compared to the next three seasons of his college career. In his sophomore and junior year, he had amazing stats going over 1,000 yards in both years and having double-digit touchdowns his junior year. But what was to come was one of, if not the greatest statistical season by a receiver in college football history. As a senior, Trevor Inslee had 134 receptions for 2,060 yards and 13 touchdowns, breaking the record for the most receiving yards in one season. When his collegiate career was all said and done, Trevor Inslee held six records, which were the most career receiving yards with 5,005, the most career receptions with 298, the most single season receiving yards with 2,060, the most career games with 100 yards or more with 26, the most 200 yard games in a season with 6, and the highest yards per game in a season with 187. Since then, all of his records have been broken except for two, which are the most receiving yards in a season and the most yards per game average in a season. So, with Trevor Inslee being one of the most prolific receivers in NCAA history, the question is, why wasn't he productive in the NFL? My first thought was that maybe Nevada just threw the ball a lot, or ran an air raid type of offense which allowed Trevor to gain so many yards. But when you look at the number of pass attempts that Nevada had in the 1999 season, it's only 457, and there have been many QBs who have attempted many more passes than that in one season. Then, I looked at the type of offense that Nevada ran in that season, and found that it was the pistol offense. If you don't know what that is, it's an offense primarily ran for option and run plays. But then, I realized what it was. As I was watching clips of the Fresno State Nevada game, I realized that Trevor Inslee gets thrown the ball way too much. The quarterback, who was David Neal at the time, almost had a reflex to throw to this man on every single pass play. There are many times where David tries to thread a needle in order to get the ball into Ansley's hands, even when there's other receivers open. Even at the end of the game, they were still throwing him little bubble screens and hitch routes when they were down by like 30 points in the fourth quarter. The thing is, I don't know why you would continue to throw the ball in pointless situations to your best receiver, who has played the entire game and is probably pretty tired. You'd think the coach would not want to risk hurting his best receiver when there is absolutely no chance of them coming back. So, the two conclusions that I came to as to why Trevor got so many receiving yards is that he was the only good receiver on the team, and the coaches just called way too many plays designed to get him the ball. If you look at the 1999 team stat sheet for Nevada, you can see that three quarterbacks combined completed 263 passes. And you can also see that Trevor Inslee caught 134 passes. So if Trevor Inslee caught over half of every single completed pass that year for Nevada, that must mean that he was one of, if not the only reliable receiver or receivers on the team. The second most receptions on the team is Clavon Brooks with 51 receptions. So after all that, my conclusion is that he was the only good receiver on the team, or maybe he had such good chemistry with the quarterback that the QB threw to him way more than the other receivers, even when he wasn't open. After his college career, Trevor ended up going undrafted in the 2000 NFL Draft, but ended up receiving free agent offers from the Bengals, Lions, and Colts, 
and ultimately signed with the Colts on January 26, 2001. He was then selected by the Colts as one of six players to be sent to the NFL Europe League and join the Barcelona Dragons, where he was pretty productive, as he had 61 receptions for 658 yards and two touchdowns. After his time in NFL Europe, he was sent back to the regular NFL and earned a spot on the Colts' regular season roster. In that same year, he had 14 receptions for 165 yards and one touchdown, but the Colts ended up terminating his contract in February of 2002. After that, he was picked up by the Texans, but unfortunately broke his ankle in the Texans' first preseason game and had to undergo surgery, which forced him to miss the whole 2002 season. And after that, he had one final stint as he signed a one-year deal with the Ottawa Renegades of the CFL, but was cut after the season, which officially ended Trevor Inslee's professional football career. So the question is, for a receiver who recorded one of, if not the best statistical receiving year in FBS history, why wasn't he at least average in the NFL? Here's my theory. Trevor Inslee was throwing the ball a lot at Nevada. As we went over earlier, he caught over half of the completed passes thrown in the 1999 season. I believe this happened because he was the only reliable target for Nevada. Therefore, he was thrown to on almost every pass play. If you were a receiver and got thrown the ball as much as Trevor, you were being set up for success no matter how much talent you have. So basically what I'm saying is that the only reason Trevor Inslee was successful in college is because he had an incredible amount of targets, which led to all of his other stats. And once he got to the NFL and didn't get the amount of targets he did in college, he was not able to be productive. I think something we can take away from this is that stats aren't everything. You can't define a player by his stats only. There's other qualities like leadership, speed, strength, uh, endless qualities that you know, contribute to what a player is and what they're going to be in the NFL. So guys, that's going to do it for today. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe as that helps the channel to grow. That being said, until next time.